Hey everyone, it's Melanie from Streamline Legal, where we help law firms get the most out of their practice management software. So, we all know that billing is a bit of a pain, and so I want to make sure that you're using every tool out there that you can in order to make it easier. And so I wanted to point out Clio's app, iPhone app, um, to be specific, although they do have it, you can use it on the iPad, the Android, all of those. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up a screen here, we can take a look at it together. Now, as you'll see on my phone here, I've logged into my Clio app, and this is what I see on the dashboard, and it's got some matters here that I've worked on recently. It's got some contacts, stuff like that, um, which is great. Um, but today we're focusing on time tracking and specifically on using a timer, because a lot of times when we're out of the office, we don't think about that. We lose track of time. We lose track of how long we've been working on things, especially if we're in a client meeting or if we're in a court hearing or something like that. And so this is a really easy way that you can try and take advantage of Clio's timer when you're not at your computer. So you'll see in the lower right hand corner, this big green plus sign. And when I click on that, the first thing it's got there in blue is start a timer. So I can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click on start a timer. It's going to start timing, of course. Um, but I don't really want to have to remember what it was I started the timer for because what if I forget by the time I get off the phone and I moved on to the next thing. So I'm going to click on add details that's just above that to the, to the timer to the right. And when I click on add details, now it's going to let me start um, selecting a matter. And so I'm going to go ahead and work on Darth Vader's matter. And I can go ahead and add a description. And I'm going to say I've just started my hearing on motion to dismiss. Of course, you might want to spell it correctly. Um, and once I've done that, I can come down here and add any other details that I want, or I can click save in the upper right corner, which I'm going to do. And now this is where some people get stumped, right? Like we don't see anything. We don't see a timer. We don't see a time entry. We don't see anything. But if you click on activities at the bottom of the screen in the center, right about there, you will find that your timer, your time entry is there, first of all, because it's adding up the time for the whole day at the very top. And you'll see for this time entry, your timer is running. Now we have two of them, of course, because I was testing before I came online here, but you'll see that our timer is running. So it's a really nice way to see what timers are running, what time entries you have for the day so far. Um, and if I want to go ahead and stop this timer, I can either click into the, the time entry and click stop timer, or from this screen, I can simply swipe to the right and it has a stop option. Okay, so I can go ahead and stop that. It stopped my timer, it added it to the total at the top, and now I've got my time entry for a minute and 39 seconds. Obviously yours will be longer. Um, at the same time, if I have other time entries that I wanna start adding more time to, maybe I was working on something else this morning that I wanna continue, I can simply swipe, swipe to the right again, and I can press start for that timer. Or I can duplicate that time entry if I'm doing something again that's very similar and go ahead and edit that. Now, the other thing that people sometimes get confused about is how do I delete a time entry? Because oftentimes if I start a timer and then I forget and I have multiple timers going on for things that I don't know what they are, um, if I wanna delete a time entry, I've made a mistake, I've made an error, then I'll wanna go ahead and click on that time entry to dig into it. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the dots in the upper right corner, those three dots in the upper right corner, that will then give me the option to delete that time entry. And so I'm gonna go ahead and say delete the time entry. Of course it wants to confirm, I'm gonna say delete, and there it goes, it's been deleted now from my list. So the Clio timer is a fantastic way from the app on your phone to be able to capture that time that um, maybe you wouldn't otherwise, or maybe it's hard to remember. And so please feel free to check in on that app. Make sure that you're using it to its fullest and let us know if you need any help. Have a great afternoon. Thanks for joining me.